Well, it's been a while. Basically, a lot of shit's happened, but I really don't feel like typing out everything right now. So, figured I'd show you guys what frisbees I'm throwing, because I think you guys might enjoy that. Especially since I've never shown you actually what's inside my bag, which is on purpose. And these aren't even really my discs. These are just what I decided to travel with because I don't give a shit if I lose any of these. And if I have to look for more than five seconds, I'm probably just going to let the woods have them. So, yeah, let's just get into throwing some frisbees. That's all I want to do, really. Like I said, guys, these discs aren't really in my bag, per se. Some of them are, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the ones I really don't want to lose are back in the van right now. Uh, and we're, I have just literally just popped out. So... Currently, I am in Michigan waiting to go to Deeglo, but I'm at a different stop right now. Just chilling, hanging out, waiting for the next DGBT tournament. And really, that entails a lot more throwing. I've played two days back to back, four rounds. And oh my God, I'm feeling it, dude. Oh my God. So I might not be able to throw too crazy far, but I'm gonna try. I'm also going to try not to hit that guy in the distance. I don't think I have power to do that. I really don't. And if I do, you got to respect the distance. So, I didn't even, that was a buzz SS. You guys probably, that's in the bag. You probably know that one. This buzz, the only reason I throw this specific one, or a buzz in general, because let's be real, I don't fucking need to throw a buzz. <clears throat> it's because the man Dylan Cease gave it to me one time. I played with him and I threw really bad. I really don't ever throw that disc. My form also feels really gross, so that's fun. I have an Essence, a little bit more stable than I want an Essence to be. I want this thing to just ride and hold to the right, and it doesn't really do that too great. Okay, maybe it does it all right. Fuck, I don't know what I'm talking about. Pan, that's not even close to him, right? That's still hella short. That's, all right, I have a Mockingbird, and the only reason I have a Mockingbird or any Lone Star disc in general is because my boy Connor O'Reilly gave me this one, and it's got a stamp on it, and you gotta hook up the homies when you can. So that's the only reason I ever would ever throw a Lone Star. Oh man, that was so bad. That was a really bad throw. All right, here we go. T-Bird 3, this has been in my bag, I think for a little over a year now. I have kind of walked away from it a little bit, but I still trust it. <clears throat> like that should be just, man, I don't, I don't know if I'm like losing power or whatever. No, that was fine. I just remember it being so much flippier. Halo t 3, that it just should do that, except don't give me that S. It just fades out a little sooner. See, it's a little smaller S. Fade out, fade out. That's if there's a little bit more wind or whatever. A lot shorter, too. I'm, I don't even want to measure these because they're going to be so short. Brand new 2021 Sexton Fiber. But when I mean brand new, I mean brand new that I just got because it came straight from the U section. But watch, this is a Firebird. Sexton Fiber right here. Trying to throw it flat. <clears throat> firebird. Also, this is a firebird as well. I should have checked the camera angle. I really hope this camera angle is working out for you. <clears throat> like, dude, look at that firebird. I love that one though. Shout out KJ for doing that shit. Whoop whoop, motherfucker. Got this Firebird from the U section. I asked him for his most overstable one because I needed one to actually fade. Gave me one with a sombrero on it. Gotta appreciate it. Shout out Mustache Man. I put Annie on that. I know I did. I know I did. All right. Now we're going into some testing phases with some new discs. So unfortunately, I lost my Max Distance Destroyer. Super sad. Super upsetting. Pinky, shout out. Rest in peace. Pour one out. Smoke one up. Do what you do. So I got a bunch of my backup discs that I wanted to try to put in now. Because destroyers just ain't working right now. My arm is fucking noodled, especially when I don't have play as much nearly as much as I do. And those things were just beat to perfection. Don't have anything like that right now. A lot of just, well, I have this one. Let's see how this flies. This could be it, actually. Saki Bot Destroyer, I think they're called. First one run, whatever ones. I love these things. <clears throat> okay, that could be it. I like that flight. Okay, we're gonna see if I can wreck. Oh, and then I have this one. Ink Me Dies. This one's more beef. This one's my new Annie Destroyer, but I think I'm trying to lean to this more force over rather than hyzer flips, especially on some lines. I gotta practice it. Wow, okay. I'm so scared of hitting 
a guy over there. I don't think I could throw that far. Brand new wild honey. See how it flies. Pretty much out the box. I've played like two, three rounds with it. <clears throat> Super flippy. It might come out. Come on. Come out, please. Come out, please. Ooh. Smashed it. Try this new double steady honey. See if I can get this one to flex back. Cause my other one is super flippy nowadays. <laughs> A roller. Stand up. <laughs> okay, flippy still. I threw that knot like I should have though. All right, cool. Throwback to the days that the DDX used to be my main distance driver. We got a glow one. Shout out Choi. It's been months, but I'll throw it now for you. Let's see if I can remember how. This has been my go-to like Heiser flip disc once I learned how to not throw like a bitch. Oh. Whoa. All right, maybe I throw like a bitch. Go with the Wraith, but this one's special to me. He's got glow tape on it because I don't want to take it off yet. Signed by a bunch of FPO players when one time I went to USWDGC. Shout out that time. Man, I didn't even maybe putting this on like Heiser a bunch or I like bad. Fuck. I'm wearing it with the Clash Discs Vanilla. It's actually Swiss cheeses that he gave me to try to beat in. So I should probably put this in the bag just to get it beat up for him. Alright, cool. Hooligan Discs Vibe. Shout out to Hooligan Boys. It's been a while since I tried this thing. Let's see if I can get things thin to go. It sold me there flies like a wraith back then. Let's see if I can get it to not fly like how I just threw the wraith. Connor O'Reilly Warbird. Let's see if I can get this thing to pump. <clears throat> not that one at least fade back for me. I don't think any of these went anywhere near 450. They got 450, I'd be kind of surprised right now. Well, some of those discs might make my bag. Who knows? Pretty much just what I grab for the next round, and three of them will be lost. So tune in next time on Berdogi when I have time to actually make a video. Hopefully, should be more now that the world championship you know just rushes over. Maybe I'll do more videos like this because I'm lazy and they seem to be easier and not spend all my time typing away. However, some cool shit has happened so far on this trip that I need to explain. And I'll get on that. I promise. So make sure to subscribe to Bradogi and I'll be more entertaining next time and that'll be more crude and offensive. Peace. There you go.